So if there's one thing that we love here at Redbeard TV, it's conventions. We go to Dallas Comic Con, PAX South, etc., etc. But what I love more than conventions is convenience. And that's why I love the Let's Play Gaming Expo, because it's right in my backyard in the Plano Center here in Plano, Texas, this weekend. Now, if you're not familiar with the Let's Play Gaming Expo, you're in luck, because we're here to tell you everything you need to know. Let's check it out. Well, they have this awesome arcade here at Let's Play. Um, I'm impressed by it. I haven't seen some of these machines myself, especially all together in, in one place for a long, long, long time. One of the craziest and biggest draws to the Let's Play Gaming Expo is not one, not two, but a buttload of Super Smash Brothers tournaments. As you can see behind us, they hold in these like 800 pound TVs so people can play Smash. And uh, man, I don't, I don't envy the person that has to carry that out. Them bitches is heavy. All right, so my first book that I went to Kickstarter with is called The Complete NES. So it's a Nintendo collector's guide. And what it allows you to do is it allows you to have a graphically beautiful checklist. Hey, check it out, this guy has a flag. Hey guys, hey. how's it going? Hey. It's this guy. Well, like all good things, must come to bad. And at the Let's Play Gaming Expo, probably the worst part is outside. Let's go back inside, it's hot as shit. Only at the Let's Play Gaming Expo can you find Microsoft sharing the room with indie developers. Now that's what I call Equal Opportunity Gaming. So tell us a little bit about your game. I was checking it out, it's called Arms of Telos, right? Right, so Arms of Telos is a competitive multiplayer game, but it has a big focus on movement. This is Jack Jack. It is a um, multiplayer arcade game, a little bit like Mr. Driller on steroids. Now tell me about Fit Beat Down that Flag. So we try to bring a lot of nostalgia to a new age of graphics and like, I guess quadrupedics instead of a linear game, it's quadrupedic, so you can turn corners and play dynamically. The developer, president, CEO, he's the only guy of Overpower Games, right? Yep, yep. That's, that's it. you. It's our Twitter. There you go, make it's sure you guys hop in the Twitter box. The Wonderfling team, okay? There you go, so like you kind of come up with ideas and you're like, make it work! Yep. Yeah, that's what I do to Mike. That's, yeah, exactly. I was like, I just recorded a bunch of funny stuff, now edit it. <laughs> and then I ran into him at uh, what, QuakeCon a couple yeah. years back. And we just ended up getting smashed. <laughs> we were, well, we that's what you got to do at QuakeCon. It's a good time, so maybe maybe we'll run into you at QuakeCon. Maybe we'll have a couple more drinks. What a fun and exhausting weekend we had here at the Let's Play Gaming Expo in Plano, Texas this weekend. Now, if you guys missed this year, make sure you check out Let's Play Gaming Expo online so you can keep up with the dates that are going to be coming around in 2017. This is one of the newest and youngest conventions in the state, but one of the coolest and fastest upcoming ones that you can even possibly imagine. It's great, especially if you love tournaments and you want to come down and play with some of your friends. You guys keep watching Redbeard TV. If you've seen this video, please click the subscribe button. The more subscribers we have, the more of these excellent conventions we get to go to. Thanks so much to the Let's Play Gaming Expo for having us out, and you guys keep watching Redbeard TV. Thank you so much, Trey. Thank you, sir. We do that handshake things, but yeah. This is this, this has been us all day. We'll just do this for a cut. This has been Trey and I all day. Shit. Shh. Wait, just we're like, are you going in for the knuckle? Like yeah. next time, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a hug in the mix. But Red Beard, he's here in every con, representing, doing what he gotta do. Checking out ever since he was about five, maybe he was ten. I don't know, but Red Beard's about to do it again. The dude is crazy. And check it out, he's so ill. He's always on the mic. Like man, can you feel like Red Beard was in my panel talking some noise? It's like tech you're kind of whack. I was like, oh no, boy. I'm the best on the MIC. That's how I do it. My name is Tech Force. You better believe. Let's go. Word.